Hey basketball fans of all shapes and sizes, welcome to the Waratah Championship Wrap. I'm Steve Carfino, bringing you a jam-packed edition. Starting off in Bankstown, where history was made as Jason Kadee broke a scoring record in the Waratah League, 54 points. Ironic that the opposing coach was Tim Hudson, who previously held the record at 52. Got a chance to talk to Jason Kadee about dropping that big number. We got the pleasure of having Jason Kadee join us, and first of all, let's talk about that 54-point game. That's a great feeling, isn't it? Yeah, it was uh, something else. I mean, it's been a while since I've gone off like that, so it's always a good feeling when you just feel like nothing's going to miss. No Steve Markovich in that game? Did you feel like you needed to be a little more aggressive? Yeah, a little bit, and I mean, um, I've loved playing with Steve since I got back. I've never done it. I watched him as a junior playing a couple of age groups up, and I always like love watching him play. and. Uh, so I just, I think I went in just feeling a, a bit of relaxed, but I felt like I had to do a bit more just knowing Stevie wasn't playing, so uh, maybe that helped. When did you know it was an exceptionally hot night? Um, I think after my second shot, I think I hit my first one and it felt pretty good. And then I think my second, my first shot was a three, and then my second one was a deep three, and it I felt like I didn't have him put my legs into it. So I think after that it felt pretty good. And you had Tim Hudson, who was the previous, you know, uh, record holder for the most points in a Waratah League game. He's the, he's the coach of that game. You're playing yeah. against the Central Coast. He tried to go to box and one. He tried to do a few things. What's going through your head? He's trying to throw different strategies at you. Yeah, well, I actually didn't know he was the leading point scorer until that, <laughs> until after the game when he actually told one of the, I think my mum, and she told me. So uh, I didn't know that. So sorry, Timmy. But uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I, I think I got going early. I had, I think I had 23 in the first quarter, so I'd already done a fair bit of damage. <laughs> But um, no, he, he definitely doubled me a little bit and started doing a box of one. But I think I just kind of, I did take my time to get some teammates going as well and let them get going. So I kind of let them get a feel for the game. And then I kind of started to pick my spots after the first quarter, which I think just led to me being able to get some good looks and just really oh, I, was, I was going. So it was pretty easy to get going after that. Good feeling knowing you guys got the win too. Yeah, definitely. I mean, to have... 50 and lose, or I even have 40 and lose, 30, to lose at any stage sucks. So um, to have 54 and win was pretty cool. It's something I'll remember for a while, I think. Thanks to Jason Kadee, he's got game and personality. Moving on to Manly, they took on the Hills Hornets and dropped the bomb on them, giving them their fourth straight loss. Manly had 10 guys hit the scoring sheet in a well-balanced attack. Penrith hit the road and got a win over the Maitland Mustangs, who are in very good form only one player for the Mustangs shot the ball at 50%, and the Panthers were led by Louis Brant's 19 and 11 at 70%, and Ben Kieran's 24, 7 and 5. Newcastle shoot the basketball at 35% from the field and just two of 18 outside the three-point line. How you might ask they got the win? Well, I'll tell you. Hornsby shot the ball better, but lost the rebound tally 57 to 32 and gave up a whopping 35 more shot attempts to their opponent. Norse versus Sutherland, one versus two, turned out to be a non-event. The difference in that game was Tommy Garlip, 39 points and 12 rebounds, and the matchup between Sapokas and Weeks was worth the price of admission alone. But let me give you a tip. I got in for free. I'll caught up with Weeksy after the game. This is what he had to say. Weeksy, first, congratulations, you know, one versus two, Sutherland, you know, you guys got it done a lot easier than I'm sure you anticipated. Yeah, it was. Um, well, no games are real easy, especially against the second place. Um, I think we just tightened up, you know, we had a good scout, watched a lot of video throughout the week, and, um, you know, we prepared well and just got it done on the day. Get you motivated when you go up against a guy like Sapokas? Yeah, you know, I've played Sapokas growing up, um, I've always been sort of similar age groups, so... It's always good to play against him, always feisty, you know, we always sort of get into it with each other, so it's always good fun. Uh, you must be excited about your, you know, your latest venture, you, you know, here, then started with the Kings, and, you know, now off to Europe. Yeah, yeah, can't wait, heading over to Germany, um, mid-August at the moment, so, yeah, I'm very excited, can't wait to get over there. The Sydney Comets were less than amazing, but the Illawarra Hawks shot the basketball from the field and from the three-point line at just 29%. They also got out-rebounded 48-31 to 31 and only got up 59 shot attempts while the Comets got up 78. Add that all up, that's a loss. Sydney Comets pick up a good win over the Bankstown Bruins here. The Comets are a double-double waiting to happen. 
all kind of guys just boarding and scoring. But let's talk about Jason Kadee. Over the weekend, in the two games, he combined for 90. 90. 90 points in two games. 45 points a game on average. 90. Let's move right on over to the roller coaster ride that is the Women's War Title League Championship. Speaking of wild rides, that's exactly what Hills gave the Manly Seagulls. Five players scoring double figures for the Hills Hornets, and their team shot it at 53% from the field on the game. That's a butt kicking. No surprise that the Penrith Panthers dropped the Maitland Mustangs. Alicia Poto just one rebound off of a triple double, and Roja dropping MVP numbers 39 points at 75% from the field, 10 of 14 outside the three point line. 15 rebounds and two blocks. Just a couple of weeks ago, Hornsby were wallowing around in mediocrity at six and four. They're on a six game winning streak. You do the math, brothers and sisters. That is 12 and four. They are on fire. They did away with Newcastle, Ebsery and Sheehan combined for 42 and 24. Illawarra have manufactured a three game winning streak of their own. How do they do it? I can tell you in one word, rebound it. Ordorf, White, and Dean combined for 37 of the team's 56 rebounds in that game. Bankstown got it back on track this weekend against the Sydney Comets, who are on a two-game slide. It was Bywater, Barnes, and Parker all getting 10 each. And then coming off the bench for 22 points was Drew Toliafoa. Thanks once again for watching the Waratah Championship Wrap. A special thanks to Jason Kadee from the Bankstown Bruins and Jared Weeks from the North Bears. Special performances from those guys. And once again, if you want something on the show, get at us at Basketball New South Wales or tweet me at Carfino Magic. See you next time.